guys, it's Philip again. So, um, I made a video recently on Django Restaurant working from as API where we um, added token authentication. You can check it in the, the link to the video in the, in the description. So, in this video, we do basically two things. We had cost errors, we had cost to our API, which is necessary. Um, if you have a situation where third party apps will be calling your API and like front end apps like React, Angular, or VJS, or using browser or particular website to access your API. So, um, um, let's dive right into it. And after adding calls, we we'll, we we'll implement a a minimalistic a basic cart feature so just to hold um a list of products and books so this is this is the video where we created um where we created where we created um e-commerce api we're still working on this excuse me on yeah this project this guy right here yeah so destroy create and yeah, e it this. this okay so um so let's get into it so this is the official documentation for Django Coursera's we're supposed to install it like us so I will come to my terminal I still have the code open yeah this is the code this is the code so um so we will do ppm ppm install ppm install jungle crossers jungle crossers ppm why that is installing I was actually recording this video last night, but I don't know. <laughs> Something happened, I couldn't finish. So, uh, my pip is installing Django Crossed as now. So, after installing, we need to do some configurations. Actually, from the documentation, there are some conf basic configurations we're supposed to do. Cause allowed origins, these are you designate some allowed origins say um website www.websites.com that's supposed to be calling your api or local host to be thousand let's say a react app or local hosts um 4200 like um, like those you are actually supposed to write it like 4200 for an angular hub okay so there are other ones cause allow methods these are methods that you allow to be um, sent in request let's say you allow a get you allow a put a patch a delete you allow options so so you have get and define all of them here so thus if you don't put delete Nobody will be able to send, send a delete request to your API. So that's basically what that means. Put um, post and so on like that. So it's writing documentation. So install apps. So we are supposed to add it to install apps. So let's do the configuration. Add course headers to the list of your installed apps. Okay. I, I told you I was recording this video for so I had done it. So you're supposed to you're supposed to add cause consellers okay and then you also wire it in your middleware so before this common middleware this common middleware and responses so you're supposed to wire the cause middleware like those consellers dot middleware dot 
because we do where great okay now you can go ahead to set these configurations allow origins allowed methods allow all origins we allow anyone anywhere to to um sort of if you said to true can allow your api can access your api sorry we also have csrf trusted origins we really don't need this for now so so let's you can copy and paste this then put it in your let me see if i don't have it somewhere else okay so you can just put it and just put it right below the restroom configuration so course allowed origins so these are some of them like in my previous video the video on token authentication i couldn't use web postman my web postman i couldn't make requests because of course so i could just add web.cosman.co this i could just add, add this i could just add this to some of to the course allowed regions and right now i'll be able to to make a um, request from my web postman to this api so let me see if my server is still running okay great um could not import django oh no, it's from PPMF, PPMF shell. Really activated, okay. Okay, cool. Okay. Okay, good. So add a scheme course allowed origin is missing scheme on next location. Okay, great. So this HTTP <laughs> that's why that's why it's having e corps. Should not have a part. Was it a part? Oh sorry. You know what I have a part. Yeah, that's voice complaining. So okay, so she not have a part means there should be no trailing for us last year, so we'll save it and then you're good to go. Provided course. Yeah. That's all. So let me see if I can make get request to let me see if I can test this. Let's see if I can make a get request from, from my web postman now. I should be able to. Call me request block because of cost policy okay i guess it's another issue then so that's that about cost letter so now let's make our cut feature um let me hope i've not started writing code for cut okay good so we we'll create a cut model and we need a cat serializer also. Okay, cat model is serializer for it. A serializer for it. Um, make a view, we'll make views for it, list and detail views. So, um, um, Think we should should dive into it so um let's start from model let's create a cat model now this is the form the cat model we take 
Um, excuse me. This is the phone. Um, do I have time to, to kind of draw a, a simple diagram? So, we have a card that can hold books and products. Yeah, I will know it. I will not unify it. I will not unify it for now. So, like, we have like a, say, this is a, this is, this is a cat. This is a cat. Then inside of this cat, Then the cat will have a um, product, your products, products, it's a type of product, and say uh, it's a it's a many to many. So this is basically a to many field. Okay. So it's basically a many to many. So this is um, books and books too. So if I wanted to unify them, I can do that later, probably using a, a concrete base model that will, each of them will not extend product. So there will be a lot of, um, a lot of uh, intricacies involved. So book, it's a type of book, it's a many to many actually. So this is how you make a cat. So such that you will have you have a cat object. You have a cat. You have a cat object. Hold a collection collection of either books or product models. Let me expand this. Cat object was a collection of other books or products, and this cat, the cat has a unique field because the cat will have a unique field, like with unique, a unique field that is as one to one. The cat must have a unique field that is a one to one field. Like, um, I would like to make it a user field because you can only have one user at a time create a cat. So, make it a user so we we'll leverage, leverage the uh, inbuilt uh, Django or user model. User model. Okay. We we'll leverage. So, we use. Um, the old user model so to make it a unique field so we can have something like like um let's say cat we have an id we have a cat id so cat id let me increase the font excuse me sorry so we have a Excuse me, sorry. Cat ID, we have a cat ID. We can have a date, a timestamp. Timestamps like a date created or something. So that will be a date, a date time field. What's a date time field? And then we can also, we will now have a books, which is a, which is many to many. A many to many field. Many to many field. And then we can have products also. I told you we can uniform it so that we just have products simply. That cannot be a type of book, a type of product. So, so this is basically how the logic will go. So our cat will have three feet. The cat ID, 
which is um, user user view, like alt user view, so that only one user on your on your website or your e-commerce website can create one one um, cart at the same time. Let's dive right into it now. Mm -hmm. So create a class cart. Let's call it cart. Um, let me try to okay. It's called a cat model model. Cat ID will be models dot one to one on field user. I have an on delete. On delete is models dot package. Now you can have um um. On the latest cascade and then I set primary key. This is very important. It's going to be the primary key. Yeah, it's going to be the primary key. So mm, you need that unit. So and then we have uh, created that. What time was this that's created? What is that it's time field? Or oh, is this field okay? Let's use the time. What a good timestamp. So the time field uh, auto I had cross to true. Then I want a books. Books will be a models that many to excuse me. Many to many field. So and that's a type of books. Type of book, sorry. So that's okay. Products. Same as here, so let me just copy and paste this. <coughs> okay, this is a type of product, so we have defined both of them just above. So, class meta might try and set something ordering. Okay. Ordering because, um order by the cat ID and then probably by the time to create it also create it. so let me make it so uh class meta really don't need to say that like um, I mean bamboo's name plural no don't worry so Return um self dot self dot cut cut let's use cut ID okay now you've done this so you do know that you should rerun your migration so so let's do this Python manage.py okay I need to go one more directory great so Python manage.py migrations I hope Okay. I have use option two. Good. Okay, Python manager py my great. Okay, now we're done. So um so now we're done with the models model parts so now i want to go to admin.py to include my um i don't know my cart okay good so me mean the site that register at 
in simplest form i don't want to be complex to do all this, um this display this filter search field you see so import cards here okay good so um Really. Okay, so um, that is that. Um, let's go ahead to let's go ahead to what's the next thing? Okay, create a card serializer. So card has a it has three fields, right? So come to serializers the py. And let's make a let's first import card from models. So not okay card here. Yeah. So come to button okay class class cards analyzers serializers to model serialize. Excuse me, let me drag this up a little. Serializer. So we have um so model is cut, then our fields. Okay, I have cat ID from our model, from our model writing. So we have just three feet. Cat ID, okay, four feet. Created at and books and products. So so let's come here. Created at. Then we have books. Then we have this. Products, products. Okay, so now we have cut ID, cut uh, created at books and products. So, um, okay, that's it. So now we also need to do something. We need to for you to be able to have um um actually your cut model will look like this. Look like this. Excuse me. Your cut model will look like um, those, like then you have um, uh, books, books which will be an array of books also. Uh, book one, etc. So, so we need to bring book serializer for this books field and product serializer. So let's go ahead and do that now. Books, books which is here will be book realizer. So read only set read only read only true and uh, there's another many first to true. There are many of them, so many to many. So product equals to Bring product serializer read only cost true many cost true. Okay, so I um, think we are we are about done. So we've created card serializer. So what you need now is is um let me see what error is this pity. Okay, so let's go ahead to create our, our views for for this guy. So 
So, okay, um, let's come here. So we need two views for cards. We need a list list view. So um, class list cards. List cards. Okay. List cards. Generate start. This create pi view. Okay, I really want to use permissions here too. So, so query set equals to cards dot objects of all, just like you did for serializer class for all the others other models too. Serializer class is cards serializer. So let me bring. Let's bring import for cat model. Okay. Cat. And in my model, I hope I have the all user model imported. Okay. It's important right here. Because it's our primary key for um, so. So we've written views. So now we need to cast serializer. We have not imported it. So cat serializer. So we import it into the view. Cat serializer. It's the last one on that list. Import it. Then should stop complaining. So now let's go to URLs to create URLs for cat. So we need to, as usual, one for listing cards. So cards, mm -hmm. this card, this card dot as view, plus to all cards. Okay. Let me see if I created a detail card. Where? Where is the view? Okay, view. I've not created a detail detail card, so I'm going to do that now. Class detail card generate start retrieve update destroy API view generate start. Okay, so I need permission classes. I need all this again. So good. So let me just paste it right here. Okay, cool. So, um, well, okay. Cut. So let me bring this cut. Put this cut. Okay. Put this cut. And then import this cut also. Okay. So. Create a part for cat detail. Okay, I'm okay. So, um, detail cat as we so we're using class based within it. So, so that's cat detail or single card whatever name you want to call it really does not matter so in pk it's pk um so okay i think i think we are done read only oh sorry did i write read only read underscore only sorry that's the right uh, name for the read only parameter for Django REST framework. Read underscore only. Read underscore only. Read underscore only. True, many. It's true. So, let me run server again.
I'm gonna try and run migrations. So mine is a py. Which migrations have been run. I don't think there's anything as to migrate. Many. Oh, jeez, man. <laughs> That's crazy. That's dumb of me, man. Really super dumb. Okay, is that okay? That's it. So let's try running server. Py of server. Okay, so um, now let's try to see our API. API what is the URL excuse me pi slash v1 slash cats okay slash cats so that's for list card of course we are not authenticated so we need to get stocking so let's call the um Fresh token hot. Excuse me. I'm going to do that again. So let me get another token from the previous tutorial. Please watch it. It's in the link in the description. So okay, so I have to pass this in every request token. So let's try this thing cut. So um come in. So I want cuts this time around, but I need to add an header, an authorization header. So token space, the token I just copied now. Let me try sending a get request. Okay, can you see an empty array, which means that your cut is empty. So you could use the admin dot py to I mean like the admin admin dashboard to to add some product to the cart so this uh, this is the cart okay add cart so good can you see this all the books that we have already come inside it automatically so I want to add it to this user fit so I can, can add two books to this to this user this cat id and i can add one product so save just click save good so now this card has two books and one product so now let's go let's go to swagger inspector and try sending a get request to card can you see voila okay so this is the cat id too that is this card is for user two and then created at this the timestamp and then books books you can see the first book id4 is it and then the second book and then products that's the products two products only one product let me try adding one more product so let's add infinite infinix or six let's save this card has two books and two products now. Let's come to Swagger Inspector. Send the get request again. Um, see, it's right here. It's right here. I, I really wish you can see this very well. Okay, let me turn up the dark team. So this is the card, card ID two, timestamp was created and then books that were added books and products also we have the products I we have two products and then we have two products so that's about it so if you want to have full information of this cat um cat cat object also so you can 
you can if you want to know like you don't want to you want to see the username and email so to speak um this is how you do that you just come to your so you realize that this is your cart serializer so for cart id you can call a, a user serializer also that means you have to write a user serializer for for your user model user serializer so read only read only equals to true true and many you can have only one user so many is false Okay, so that means we have to create a user serializer just maybe up top or wherever. Okay, I already have a user serializer. Okay, um, okay, I actually don't want this. I actually don't want this. I just want user serializer. Class user serializer. Serializers. Model. Serializers. Model is user. So we have to import the auto user model. So what feeds do you want to grab? What feeds do you like to see there? So grab the username, then email, email of the user, I guess. Yeah, username, email. So you have to import the alt user here. Okay, that's already been imported, so wait. Okay, why, why comment this? I think I was using it for something else before. Yeah. Let's say cut user serializer. Let's call this cut user serializer. Cut user serializer. So let's call it another name. So, um, okay, now, now we, uh, it's pretty much done. Um, Israelis, the point is really, what's missing here? Israelis, yes. Yeah, no, what is missing? So let me try send it a get request again. Okay, the server is not up, I guess. It's up now. We send the request. Um what is wrong? What is wrong? Network host is reachable. Okay, on on indent does not match the outer oh. So there was a indentation error. Now our server should be up now. What is wrong? Excuse me. Oh, sorry. The class was shifted, so it looks like it was kind of under here. So okay. now we should have our server run running now great so now we'll send your request again now can you see cat id has previously to just cat id it's not an object with some feeds to username email created at books and the products inside of it so let's try adding products to the other user also so you create a new cat let me see. So create a new cart for the other user. I already have a user there, professor. So 
Go to add all the books inside here and all the products inside here and save. Okay, so Propensity has all the books in our store and all the products. So now let's try let's try getting all cards again. Now you have two cards now. The first one is Propensity. It's created at uh, nine at uh, I think um, 8.54 and that's my, that's my correct time. I'm on GMT plus one time zone. So books, all the books inside here. So let me, we created a card detail. So card one should give us cards, first card. So these are the books inside this card. Okay, the products, the products inside this card. Product one. Product two, product three. Okay, let's check for cut two. That's for cut user fit. So this is it. So uh, that is it for this tutorial. Thank you. If you like it, like, comment, subscribe to this channel. We encourage me to keep making more videos because the time is really. I need to create time for it. So I think it was one month or two months since I last posted before the token authentication tutorial I made yesterday so um, so basically your card owes a collection of products and if you wanted it if you don't want look look at right here if you don't want books separate products separate you can create uh, you can make a product model make a product model product model that we have common feature that both books book and uh, okay both book and products excuse me that both book and product um, ordinary product model can extend so this will be a, a let me write a a concrete a concrete base model you can use a concrete base model so this would be a concrete base model that these guys are going to extend these two guys I'm, I'm referring to books and products so like products might have common feature like price a book will have a price product but there are some things that are peculiar to book are not peculiar to product like weight number of pages uh -huh. so so this will be class specific fields number of pages book as a weight product can have things like uh, color which book does not have so so that's what i mean so i think in the last video somebody asked me how you can make categories so you can make categories by extending a concrete base model product that this guys will so in your cart your cart will now have only one many to many and that's product which can be out uh, now a type of a type of book or a type of product so that's it for this video this tutorial thank you please subscribe yeah it helps a lot like comment and um, I will see you in the next video. As you can see our cat is doing fine. I wish I could open this in my postman. I don't like this view. So, so thank you. And bye for now. So now let's, uh, yeah. The last video I didn't commit. Okay. I think I can push to get myself. So I'll put the link to the project, the GitHub repo in the description. Thank you. Bye for now.